using the Desmos calculator in your math, science, engineering class. It's a great interactive tool. You can play around with equations. Students can do that. How would you pull this into your Canvas class? Well, I have a page here I've started working on. It's going to set up the framework for what we're going to talk about. And you can pull that graph directly in there. So I've just dropped into the rich content editor, the RCE. You'll see that term. This is the same editor that shows up in making quizzes, assignments, several places. So the tools you're seeing here will work in all of those places. So we want to embed the graph. What we're going to do is we're going to go on this toolbar, the rich content editor over to the right is the snowman. And we're going to grab the cloud far right on here to embed something from the web. Now there's this prompt for the embed code. What is embed code? Well, embed code is a small piece of HTML that will tell the page where to get the image from, from the other site. So if we go over to Desmos on the share button up on the top right to share graph, there is a section for the embed code. And so that can select that code and copy it. And if I come back over to Canvas, I can just paste the embed code directly as is. So you've carried over that HTML. And we'll just go ahead and submit it and add it to the editor. At this point here, the students can see. I'm going to save it so we can look at what they're going to see. Here's that graph. And they can look around and see the points. Now at this point, they can only kind of like look at the graph. They can see where points are, but they can't manipulate it the same way that they were able to when they were actually in the website. So how can you add that feature? Well, go back and we're going to edit the page. Now you're going to start your journey into understanding a little of the web with the chevron slash closed chevron or greater than, less than slash great, uh, greater than. You're actually going to drop in and you're going to see the code that helps Canvas pull this in. This is called an iframe. There's a lot of it you don't really need to know, but there's a few things if you learn, they'll help you. So where it says width equals 500 px, that specified the width. I'm going to change that to say 100, but not px, which would be pixels. I'm going to say 100%. And to look at what that does, that's the first change we're going to make. At this point now, the graph automatically scales to the width of the page. That's one powerful tool to know. Next thing we'll do is we're going to hit that edit and drop back into that HTML mode again. And you know, there's a whole iframe tag. Don't have to really know most of what's going on in there. But here is one of the important parts. This is what links it straight to your uh, the calculator page that you've made. And it's accessible publicly. But at the end of it, it has a question mark embed. And if I remove that part, it's actually going to show you the calculator uh, in the more interactive mode. Now, it's still not logged in, so they're just changing with it interactively. They're not actually changing the master copy of the calculator that you've made. Uh, and they do have the ability to sign in with their regular account and save it. But the most important part we're seeing here is that now it's interactive so that you can actually make a prompt, ask them to set some variables and things in a question that you might actually use this where they're supposed to solve for something and then enter in the variables that worked. In this case, they're actually able to play with it and come up with the observation of what is it that would make that blue sine wave disappear. And in this case, it's making a sine wave that's exactly uh, offset from it. So this is how you can pull in your calculator so it's embedded in your lesson plan Again, that helps students stay focused on the tasks. They don't have to hop from one web page to another. And even if they do make the changes, uh, when they refresh it, it's going to reload. It's going to reload that calculator back exactly to the spot you wanted the lesson plan to start with. And that's how to embed uh, Desmos Graph into your lesson plan, assignments, or quizzes.